In this video I'm showing how to resolve an issue on PoE digital time clocks made by Pyramid Time Systems where instead of the clock displaying the time, they display all dashed lines or all eights like what you see here. I've seen this issue on newly installed clocks as well as clocks that have lost power. In both cases the fix was the same, I had to use the Pyramid Time Track software to get them to show the time. This is a paid software and it's kind of expensive so hopefully you have a copy laying around or somebody with a P card. And the way this works is you're going to have to have your machine on the same network with the clocks that you're trying to configure. For network folks, that means you have to be on the same VLAN, and in my experience, I couldn't get this discovery to work across layer 3 boundaries. Alright, so to install the time track software, you just run the setup wizard. It has to install SQL 2022 Express on your local machine, so accept that to get started. I'm running this on a pretty unimpressive work laptop, so this install took about 7 minutes. I'll fast forward through that. When the SQL Server install is completed, it automatically starts the time tracks install. Just click next to get that going. When it's finished, you'll get installation complete, just click close. Then hit the Windows key on your keyboard and search for Time Tracks, and open up Time Tracks v5. We have to allow the app access to the network so that it can discover the clock, so click on Allow. The Time Tracks software also installs a local IIS web server on your machine. Once that install is finished, it should launch your browser and send you to this local host page. If you're prompted to allow IIS access to the network, click Allow on that as well. And then you should see a pyramid sign-on page like this. The username is admin and the password is PTI, all in caps. The first time I signed in, it probably took 30 seconds to make it to the next page, so just be patient. When the screen finally loads, it should be populated with the clocks that it discovered on your local network. I'm blurring out some of the company specific information here, but it's just IP and MAC addresses. Some of the clocks were pre-existing and some of the clocks were new installs. I'm not sure that I actually had to do anything in the software here, but I just clicked on activate all, and when I went back to the clocks, they were displaying the correct time. If you need to, there are other customizations you can make in the software. If you click on Edit Global Settings, you'll see that you can modify the time zone, daylight saving time, and NTP settings. In my case, the clocks worked perfectly with the defaults, so I didn't have to change anything here, but it's there if you need it. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if this helped you out. Thanks for watching.